Never have I ever woken up and thought about deep fried chicken burgers. I have. I do it all the time. Welcome to Dirty Dinner Diaries, fried chicken edition. Ooh. Before we get started on making possibly the best fried chicken sandwich in the world, do not forget to subscribe, hit the button here, hit the bell button, get notified, stay in touch, we love you. Let's get on with the first step, which is marination for the nation. <laughs> What's that, marination for the nation? It's only for you lot, and me, mainly for me, all for me. It's my chicken, back off. First thing is first, so we've got some chicken thighs here. We're gonna use chicken thighs, I think chicken breasts, and it's a lot harder to overcook chicken thighs, basically. So we need the easiest option all the time for this. So chicken thighs is the way to go. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna marinate the chicken thighs in some buttermilk and a few spices. Now, buttermilk, I couldn't get. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some milk and I'm gonna squeeze a load of lemon into it and that should do the trick. Let's give it a go. Right, there we go. We're gonna save a few of these half lemons for our um, spicy mayonnaise dressing in a bit. But there we go, so basically I've used two, three lemons in there um, to about, how many pints is that, two liters? Probably about a liter of milk in there. Uh, we're just gonna stir that around and then um, we're gonna add some habanero hot sauce to that just to give it an extra bit of a tang and then we're gonna drop the chicken in. Ooh. If you can do that without spilling as much lemon juice as I have, I'll be very impressed. Ooh. There's the, there's the uh, habanero. We're gonna add a little bit of salt into there as well. Just a pinch of sea salt. There we go, it's stuck in there. Bit of pinch of sea salt into there. Beautiful. Now it's time to add chicken breast. We're gonna keep some of that fat on as well, so it's nice and juicy. We're gonna fry this off after all anyway. So chicken breast into the buttermilk and then we're going to pop that in the fridge, cover it up, leave it for about an hour, preferably overnight, but I've not got the patience for that. Boom. Okay, let's keep this bit super simple. So, we're going to use plain flour, we're going to use or all purpose flour, we're going to use salt, pepper, smoked paprika, cayenne pepper and some garlic powder. So, for this, we're going to go all pro and use proper measures. So, kind of. Uh, we need three cups, or thereabouts, of flour. Not even that much, I don't think. There we go. We're gonna use a tablespoon of smoked paprika. Ba -ba -ba, in there. We're gonna use probably For a bit of spice, if you don't want it too spicy, don't use this, but probably half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, or tablespoon, sorry, in there. Tablespoon of garlic powder, bosh, and then a big pinch of salt, and probably a tablespoon of black pepper as well. In we go. So, in there and there, big pinch of salt, and then we're gonna mix this all together. Like a bit more spice, you can always add a bit more cayenne pepper. Right, it's gonna get a little bit noisy. We've got some electricians in finishing this kitchen and Jack's making some knives. So next thing we're gonna do, we've got the flour mix ready, we're gonna make some spicy mayo. Okay, for this spicy mayonnaise, we are gonna obviously need some mayonnaise. Uh, then we're gonna use some hot sauce, we're gonna season with salt and pepper, we're gonna mince some garlic and then we're gonna dash it with a little squeeze of uh, leftover lemon. Let's go. Right, 
Right, so <laughs> we've got some diced up garlic, two cloves to be precise. We're going to eyeball this now. So we're going to put a ton of mayonnaise in, uh, some salt and pepper, and then some of this hot sauce to taste. Uh, if you like it spicy, add loads, bosh. I'm also going to add a little more smoked paprika because it's great. Maybe about a teaspoon of that, I reckon. Maybe about a teaspoon. Again, we'll just do all of this to taste. Let's give it a mix up. Right, that's all mixed up. Oh, hello. A little bit more lemon and away we go. Okay, so the chicken's been in for about three hours in this buttermilk in the fridge. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna get it out, we're gonna toss it in this flour, but we're gonna really pack it in. So get as much of this flour on as we can to coat the chicken. We're gonna do it to all pieces, and then we're gonna smash it in the fryer. That's the chicken coated in the flour mix. Now we're gonna fry it. So look at all this stuff on here, it's crazy, isn't it? These working conditions. So. Oil set to 175 degrees C, temperature wise. I reckon we're gonna cook two at a time. You don't wanna slam loads in there and overpack it. You want it to be nice and crispy. So do two at a time in this. If you've not got a fryer, just shallow fry them in some oil. Make sure they're at least halfway up and then you can give them a turnover. I reckon between six to eight minutes for these, they're quite thin pieces. Check them, internal temperature, you're looking at around 73 degrees. Let's get them in the fryer. Okay, so while the chicken is frying, we are gonna cut some gherkins. So on this, we're gonna do a brioche bun, gherkins, a bit of the mayo, and some bit of cheese as well. It's gotta be fake cheese. Fake plastic cheese is the best. Let's cook some gherkins. Cut, not cook, cut. Although pickled gherkins, cooked. Ooh. Right, that's been in now for about seven minutes. We're just gonna probe it and have a look. Look at that, beautiful, crispy. There's only one last, one last thing to do, get them built. Crispy fried chicken with a spicy mayo, cheese, pickles on a brioche bun. Let's have a go. Oh. It's perfect. It's crispy, lovely bit of spice coming from that mayo. Maybe add a bit of hot sauce if you fancy. If not, don't. Enjoy it. Happy Dirty Dinner Diaries. Subscribe. Tap that bell button. See you next time. <laughs> I reckon I could eat at least another four of them. <laughs>